Welcome to our channel where we provide you detailed guidance on all aspects of the USMLE journey. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to our channel and also follow us on Instagram. Now that the season 2022 is coming to an end, we got several requests to discuss the match trends for the season 2022. So in this video, we will talk about the interviews. So which profiles got the interviews in 2022 season? So we'll talk about the top specialties that uh, sent out the invites. We'll talk about the year of graduation and the interview invite correlation. We'll talk about USCE, months of USCE and tele-rotations, how that impacted the interview invite. And we'll also talk about signaling. So as you may remember, uh, this year, the IRA supplemental application had a section where you could signal up to five programs. So we'll talk about did signaling impact the interview invites as well. We'll also talk about how scores impacted the interviews. So as we discuss the analysis, please remember the following things. First, this is only the Sarthi student data. So we have not consulted any other data on Facebook or any other source of data. This is the self-reported data for the USMLE SRT students. The data set has more than 2,800, I think 69. So 2,869 uh, responses based on which we have done this analysis. The data is all IMG. So whether it's Caribbean, non-Caribbean, visa seeking and non-visa seeking. So the data set that we have for 2022 for SRT students is only IMG data. And of course, the individual profiles vary. So as you review this data, you can interpret it accordingly. And of course, the complete profile of an applicant matters. So there may be cases when someone has lower scores, but strong USCE and research. So that may have influenced the interviews and vice versa. Some people may have high scores, but they may be lacking other aspects of the profile that may have influenced the number of interviews they get. And finally, remember that this is just the interview invite data. This is not the match data for 2022. And again, I want to emphasize this is only the Sarthi student data. So uh, just remember that. So let's start first in terms of the top specialties that sent out the interviews. On the top, of course, is internal medicine. As you can imagine, it has the highest number of spots and most IMGs applying to internal medicine. So more than 70% of the interview invites for Sarthi students actually went into internal medicine. I think the number, if I'm correct, yes. So 72% of the Sarthi students actually got invites from the internal medicine. So that's a very high number. Neurology was the second highest in terms of the specialties for IMG, so 9.2% of the total interview invites for Sarthi students uh, went into neurology. This should not be a surprise uh, since neurology has become very competitive and a lot more IMGs are also applying to neurology. After neurology, the specialties that sent out the invites and the numbers were PEDS and family medicine, both of them about 6.2% of the total invites each. Pathology and psychiatry were the other two specialties that sent out substantial invites to the IMGs, but uh, in terms of percentages, in terms of the number of invites was less than pediatrics and uh, family medicine. Of course, uh, IMGs and Sarthi students did get invited in many other specialties, so ophthalmology, general surgery, OBGYN and so on, but the number is small enough in terms of percentages. In fact, uh, if you're interested, uh, we did an interview with Dr. Itika Gar, who matched in Optha. So you can take a look at that interview to see how competitive specialties uh, consider, what factors they consider as they invite the IMGs. Okay, so now how do we interpret the data in terms of the specialties sending out the invites? I am, of course, continues to be the IMG favorite and therefore it's not a surprise. Psychiatry has been becoming very, very competitive with a lot more AMGs and DO applicants applying to psychiatry. And therefore you will see the number of invites for IMGs in general is lower than as compared to say pediatrics 
or even family medicine. Now let's talk about the visa status. Surprisingly, 61.5% of the interview invites for Sarthi students went to visa seeking applicants. This is a very good news. So the remaining 39.5% went to the applicants which did not need visa. So they had a green card or citizenship or something that did not require a visa. So this is a good news if you are a visa seeking IMG that the visa seeking IMGs actually got a lot more interviews Sarthi students this season, more than uh, 61%. Then we analyze the year of graduation and USCE trends. You know, how did that factor in the interview invite? So if your year of graduation was low, so less than three years of YOG, the average USCE for getting an interview invite was 5.2 months. But if you had a higher YOG, so five years or more of YOG, then the average USC months to get the interview was eight months. Now, of course, there are several reasons for this. As your YOG increases, you are expected to show more and more clinical experiences that you're clinically current. And if your YOG is more, you obviously may have applied uh, in the previous season. So your, uh, your USC months uh, go on to increase. And also, if you are a higher YOG and you don't need visa, so you would already be in the US, so it's easier for you to do the USC also. But in summary, the result is if you have lower YOG, so three years or less, the months of USC needed uh, for getting the interview invites was about 5.2 months. So keep that in mind. If your YOG is higher, then obviously you need uh, more clinical months in USC. Then the related is telerotation. Many of you had questions in terms of did people who do telerotation get the interviews and how did that impact? Well, the good news is about 20% or 20% of, of the interview invites did report that they had at least one month of telerotations, which is good news, which means one out of five interviews went to people who had shown at least one month of telerotations. Of course, telerotations in 2022 were less than those in 2021, but uh, programs seem to be more comfortable with telerotations in 2022. So we'll have to see how this trend continues in 2023 season and beyond. We'll also do a separate video on the top programs that consider telerotation. So we'll give you more insights on which programs actually consider telerotations to give out the interview invites to the students. Now let's talk about signaling. You know, many of you may remember the supplemental ERAS application that had asked you uh, and you could uh, signal up to five programs in internal medicine. So the obvious question is, did signaling matter for IMDs? And when we looked at the data, only 8.4% of the interview invites indicated that they had signal the programs, which is a bit lower than expected. Now, could they have gotten the interview invites from those programs even without signaling? Possibly. So we are not uh, yet clear on some of the data around signaling, but at least what we have is the top programs that students got interviews from uh, that were signaled. So in a subsequent video, we'll share that list as well for now the signaling doesn't really seem to have impacted the interview invites with about eight and a half percent rate in terms of the interview invites for programs that were signaled. Now let's talk about uh, year of graduation and the interview invites. As many of you expect, the lower the YOG, the more the chances of getting your interview invites, everything else being similar. So overall, close to 70% of the interview invites 69.5% to be exact, went to YOG five years or less. If you had a YOG of one year, then the number of invites from the total was 20%. So 20% of the interviews uh, went to students with a YOG one year. If you had a YOG of five years, uh, you got 11% of the total interviews. So you can see the trend, but it doesn't mean that if you had higher YOG, the chances of match are zero. In fact, uh, we have an interview from a student who matched, who pre-matched with a YOG of more than 10 years. So, so other aspects of the profile matter as well. 
but in general if you have a lower yog you have a better shot at getting the interviews and this also answers other questions that many students have should i delay applying this year versus applying next year and so on so the answer is yog really impacts the interview invites so keep in mind uh, that the more you delay uh, and the more higher the yog is the chances of interview could go down now finally let's talk about the average score so overall across the specialties for sarthi students the average step one score uh, for getting an interview invite was uh, 233.8 and the ck score was 241 so this is overall of course there were trends across the specialties that uh, i can give you in case uh, there is interest So OBGYN and diagnostic radiology both reported very high averages. So if you had a 250 plus in both steps, the probably you got interviews in diagnostic radiology, OBGYN. So the averages for these two specialties was very high. Internal medicine, which is of interest to a lot of you. So the average score for internal medicine, uh, which is of interest to most of you, step one was 236. step to ck was 245 and of course as we mentioned earlier neurology is becoming more competitive this is also shown in the average scores increase so the step 1 uh, average for an invite was 233 whereas the ck was 241 fm family medicine had an average step 1 of 216 for an interview invite and the ck was 232 rounding off pathology step 1 was 221 and 224 was the ck average for getting the interview invite of course remember that score alone are very tricky if you are looking at the averages because as i mentioned other parts of the profile also matter whether it is the usce whether it is your research months whether it is the year of graduation so score alone may not give you the entire picture all right that was a very high level overview of the interview invite trends for 2022 and as i mentioned in the coming days we'll be doing more videos and going in depth into not only the interview invites but other aspects of the profile and also the, when the students match results are out we'll discuss that as well as you get ready for the next season so good luck for your match and let us know in the comment section if there's anything else you'd want us to cover